Okay, welcome back. We're going to look at converting centimeters to millimeters and millimeters to centimeters part two. And the reason why we need a part two is because not all numbers are going to be as easy as they were in part one. So just to recap, in part one, we said one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. And when you're converting centimeters to millimeters, you simply multiply by 10. And if you had millimeters to centimeters, all you had to do was divide by 10. Okay. Now, however, let's go to the next page. Not all numbers are going to be perfect like that. So let's look at four here. Four means four centimeters. But as you can see here, you have these little dots, these little lines, those represent millimeters. So if I did four centimeters and five millimeters, that's going to equal 4.5 centimeters or 45 millimeters. So the decimals will be involved if you're converting from millimeters to centimeters. So let's look at an, another example here. Let's look at 83 millimeters. So here you would divide this by 10. So 83 divided by 10 will equal 8 decimal 3. So that would be 8 decimal 3 centimeters. And the same would apply with the opposite with multiplication. So for example, if you had 6.4 centimeters and you would multiply this by 10, that'll give you 64 millimeters. Okay, so when we have uh, uneven numbers or not numbers that are multiples of 10, we will have to deal with a decimal. So this will apply for big numbers too. So just say you had 103 millimeters, 103, divide this by 10, you get an answer of 10.3 centimeters. So that would be 10.3 centimeters. So the same rule applies when you're converting. You have to either multiply by 10 or divide by 10. But now you have to watch out for decimals. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.